Ebro in the morning, Laura Styles and Rosenberg. I want to introduce everybody to a young man's buzzing out there. He's got a song that people like, White Iverson. That's the title, right? White Iverson yeah. mm -hmm. is the name of the song, uh, which I ended up liking when I didn't know if I would or not. Give it up for Post Malone. Woo! Hey, give it up. Give it up. And people love you, bro. Like, you're, you're um, every picture I see you smiling in. Yeah. Everybody says you're a super nice guy. Like, um, can you tell us your story? Where are you from? Um, and, and just your, your, your career path. Right, right. Um, well, I'm from Syracuse. I'm from upstate. Oh, New York. So, All right. Um, when I was 10, I moved to Dallas. You know, always, my dad was always playing music, not like playing music, but listening to music. And he put me on like everything, you know what I mean? So like Metallica from everything, folk and, uh, funk and rap. Just music. And all that stuff. Just yeah, music. yeah, yeah. So, you know, I moved to, to Dallas and I, I started, you know, making music. So, uh, you know, that's really it. And from then on, you know, I just started making what I like, playing guitar and, and, and writing my own songs and just making music. How old are you? I'm 20. Damn, mad young. Super young. Um, you know, me, I, when I see a white dude in throwback jersey, gold teeth, I'm the guy. I'm the old black dude who's like, yo, what is this? He making fun? What is this? Right. And then everyone's like, nah, he's a good dude. He's a kid. You're going to mm -hmm. love him. He's in the music. And then I heard the song. You know who got me into the song? Jaden Smith. Okay. Because at first I was like, I mean, the song's cool. It kind of sounds like everything that's kind of already out there, right? right. Like I've, I've heard this style before. But then Jaden was like, nah, when it comes on at the right time, you got to hear it at the right time. I'm telling you, it's one of those songs. I was like, all right, man, whatever, man. And the song came on at the right time. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yo, this song's kind of tough. No, I, I, for me, I had a similar feeling. Like I instantly heard what was good about the song, right? right. Even though I'm old as fuck. I was like, oh, no, I hear it. This is, I, I get instantly why it was dope. I did have the same thought. So Oz Cohen mm -hmm. hit me up about it. And, right. I, and I love that kid. So like, I'm very apt. That's Lior's son. So I'm like very apt to want to help Oz. And he, he put me onto you and is like, check this guy out. And I had him back and I was like, yo, check this out, fam. As, as, as a weird sort of gatekeeper-y position that I have, I feel weird. My gut reaction of like, the white dude that I see with braids and gold right. teeth for me brand wise promoting that is an uh, is an odd choice i have to sort of see what the person's really about right. first so that's why i was interested to meet you cuz i like the song right, but the uh, but has any have you has anyone else um approached you about that or asked you about why that's your imagery or where that imagery did come from right uh well i mean um you know ever since i was a little kid i really i know i want to go to i mean you know i always love like shiny stuff that's just like you know what i'm into you know that's kind of my style but you know the braids came across i just i, I got braids one time you know and uh i you know i said i felt like the white iverson you know mm -hmm. um I just yeah. felt cool sometimes you know, it's confident. more simple see this yeah, is like, it's, just, it's just really it's, it's just really deep. like that see that's the hard part you bro it's when i hear about it you know we have the same kind of conversation like hmm see but, but I, once i learn the character it really comes down to the character of the person right um, and when you start like people being like, yo, you know, white people appropriating black style and black music becomes a conversation. Right. Then it comes down to, okay, what is the character of the person? And when the people that I met was like, nah, I'm telling you, he's a good dude. He's a kid. He loves the music. He's a great guy. Right. That was when I was like, all right, cool. Like, cause I had a thing with Riff Raff for a while. Right. And I thought that Riff Raff was a great person. Like, he seemed like a good guy. Yeah. But then when we started talking about who he really was as that person right. was when he started trying to, I felt like he was trying to play me a little bit. Right. Right. He wasn't giving me direct answers. And then he had these MTV and BET tatted. And I was like, yo, like, is this a, is this a joke? Like, is this a parody or is this really you? Like, I don't understand. Right. Right. And so then when I couldn't get straight answers, that's when shit went left. And then he tried to bust a freestyle and the freestyle was dog shit. And I was like, I'm not fucking with this. I'm not fucking well, with this. And then you this. had to deal with people hitting you like, that freestyle was tight. Yeah. And you're like, nah, B, I'm not playing that game. And I like Riff Raff. I'm not trying to get into it, Riff Raff's fans. Yeah. I like Riff Raff. He's a good dude. I like a few of his songs. But for y'all to tell us that freestyle was hot, I'm like, let me tell you something you're never going to say to me in your fucking life. <laughs> um, but nah, so sometimes, sometimes we overthink it. Sometimes we overthink it. And like, honestly, like, I, I'm sort of a judgmental prick in that right. sense, right? And that, like, I looked at you and I was like, honestly, I feel like it's, and this is me being overly transparent with the listeners, but like, I feel like there are a lot of black artists that I love and want to put on. Do I need to put on the white dude with 
braids and gold teeth. And I know that sounds fucking stupid and contrived, but it passes through my mind. And then sometimes you're like, I mean, what's really the difference between me and you? Like, I wear throwback jerseys. I love black culture. I love, like, I just love but it. But you catch hate for it. But I do, but and, I might stop short I, of gold teeth, but, but th that's just my personal preference. But this that's is what me. I wanted to do in this interview, and I'm glad you came, because right. I felt like for a minute they didn't want you to come because we was going to have this conversation. Right. And I'm glad you came, and I'm glad the you know whoever's in charge brought you. Me too. What I wanted to do was you to have the conversation, because the heat's going to come. Right. The heat's going to come. Right from because we're just, and and right now socially like it's super. I mean they came Iggy Azalea right they came right. for her and her response in the heat was the character of the person that made it more damaging for her. You see what I mean? She, in because, other words, she's failed miserably in taking the heat and to, and, and 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 just saying like, yo man, I just love rap and whatever. I, you know what I mean? Just right. appreciate the culture, appreciate the music, and so. Because he catches heat and he loves the music, he just catches heat for being white. Right. And having an opinion. Because when you're white, some people are like, yo, you white, you're an outsider of hip hop, you can't have an opinion. He stands in that fire. So I wanted you to give him some, some advice oh, so when he, the heat comes. Just be, that's what he's doing it. You just yeah, go and you be yourself. I'm, he didn't try to tell us he was from the fucking hood in Syracuse. Uh, he's a kid from Syracuse. You happen to love all kinds of music and for whatever reason. So what was it about who and what was it that got you into the like? The idea of even in, the idea of even wanting to do White Iverson right. is somewhat cultural, right? Like I loved AI. Right. We all love AI. We're, who in, specifically in the culture, be there, be it hip hop, sports, whatever, but in black culture, were you really into when you were a kid that sort of inspired you? Well, when I was a kid, you know, my dad he played everything. You know, like NWA and like you know Ice T, like Body Count. I remember him playing Body Count. Body Count. You know, that's a, and that's, that's a cool because it was like rock. Ba it was like I rock, got banned. Rock rap, and it, and it was it was just. A cool sound like and i was just a little kid, like, oh, body count you know getting down <laughs> like that but um i mean tupac biggie you know just everything you know my dad being from new york how old your dad my dad is 46. so yeah he's a hip-hop head yeah, so he yeah, just loves yeah, everything exactly, just yeah. put you on and so this so was a mix of all of it that you just enjoyed yeah it was just a mix of everything and you know also being into you know rock and all that stuff you know just i just love music i grew up appreciating music and mm -hmm. and, and 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 appreciating people that love music and made music but for whatever you know, reason your identity wise you clearly leaned hip-hop as opposed right. to rock right yeah, but exactly. but but here's the thing like you would see post malone in a jersey and have braids but i think he may have cowboy boots on or boots right. on today like he he dresses like a rocker slash his whole yeah. thing is a mishmash mishmash of culture anyway Ye Ye yellow wolf's the same way right yeah, yellow wolf was super rap now he's super country, Kid but both Rock are authentic. The, Kid, Rock Kid Rock's the same thing, way. too. It's, it's just what I feel like. I don't know. I do what I, I make music that I like. I That's wear it. what I like. How would you describe your other music? Because I've only heard White Iverson. Okay, well, um, I mean, it's it's not. It's kind of a little more turned up a little bit, I guess, you know, a little more bass and all that stuff. Um, but on a new project, I'm playing guitar on there, you know, incorporating all that different type of stuff and just, you know, trying to make something fresh. Do you, um, you write all your music yourself? Yeah, yeah. Um, melodies, singing, you you do all that, all that stuff that's in your head that you come up with, the yeah. ideas, everything. Yeah, I just get drunk and get in the booth and then um, do the melody and then go back over and write the lyrics. Do you and, produce also? Yeah, 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 yeah. I produce White Iverson. Oh, okay. So, um, do Sober you, when you produce? Depends. Depends. <laughs> well, isn't it hard? Like from a technical standpoint, I imagine you can't be no, too drunk. Like, no, I definitely, I definitely have some times where I'm trying to like move and I'll just sit there. And you're stuck. Try to figure it out. Do you? Um, I, I know you smoke a lot of weed. I used to. So you I don't have, like anxiety type deal, but I'm getting back into it slowly. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. You got anxiety from weed, or you used it know. for anxiety? I, I don't remember. Uh, so it was like four months ago, five months ago, and and I just smoked one time, and I was like, it hurt. Or you like got it, a bad batch. Like it hurt. Oh, yeah, exactly. And it, and you know it really like bothered me ever since then. But now you know I'm kind of like maybe you were was you 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 was uh, stacking some things together. You was on a combo. Maybe you so. had pills the night before. Maybe then some weed. Maybe then the some before. drink. And it was like your body was like. Yeah. <laughs> but it wasn't. It wasn't nothing wild. Right. You're not. You're not a wild. Are you a wild man? Or you're like a like where your partying level. I, I like to chill. I don't really like the club or the. So party what's your pill pill of choice? My pill of choice. <laughs> you can't whisper it and still what? say it. <laughs> what? And and weed. Yeah, of course. And drink. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. You don't go harder than that. Nah. You don't no, lean. No, no lean. No lean. 
before. No, no more. No. no. Yeah, lean's, lean's not good. No. Mm-hmm. Lean's no bueno, man. It's a people. It, lean doesn't get a bad enough rap for how, how bad it is. I always say that. I always say that. Because yeah, I, I hate bad. when people make it seem like it's cool. It's like the dope thing to do and right. all these young kids are so into it. It annoys me. <sighs> no, it annoys wild. me like hell. Lean will fuck you up. People, yeah, people there are people whose careers and lives, people's lives have ended. People's lives have ended because of Lean. For yeah. sure. His name is Post Malone. He's got a record, White Iverson. I want y'all to check it. Give it a chance. Um, I gave it a chance. and I, I like you, man. Thank you, bro. I, I like you. And, I, I think his name is Moses Malone. Oh, I'm Carl. Like, Carl Malone. Yeah. <laughs> the mailman, he delivers. Um, I think that, uh, you know, a lot of times, too, we're looking at kids who are 20 years old. Like, as a kid, he loved Iverson. He loved hip-hop. His dad's 46. Think about that. I, listen, I know. How does uh, how does Scotty Beam feel about this? You know, she black. Scotty Beam? I love it. You, you, you have full, you have, you're not, there's nothing about the Post Malone brand that bothers you or anything like that. You were all with it. No, I'm with it. You I'm could tell it was sincere it. and you just fucked with it. Absolutely. Let me tell you right now. If you're good with her, you're going to be all right. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> you're going to be all right. <laughs> Yo, let's get the record on right now. This is Post Malone, White Iverson. Do you have an album plan, other singles? What, what else should we be looking for from Post Malone? Well, hopefully by the end of the year, we'll have a project out. Okay. And hopefully. I'm working. But we just got to tighten tighten things up and make sure everything is cool. You know what I mean? And, but, and before, uh, have you ever put out mixtapes or anything before this? I put out a mixtape when I was 16. Really? In my high school. And that's, you know, that's where it, like, started. And I had to move to L.A. and say, you know, this is what I want to do. Right, right, right. You took but the risk. It, it was it was shitty. <laughs> it's bad. How bad? <laughs> it was bad. I listened to it you, uh, recently. Like, you, getting, you getting Embrace It? You heard from any big artists who have reached out? Yeah, yeah. Um, um, Wiz. You know, uh, Wiz, Mac Miller at the start. You know, Key from Atlanta. Um, I just met Kanye. Really? At Kylie's party. Kylie had me perform. I just met Kanye. Oh, yeah, I saw yeah. that you performed at Kylie's oh, party. Oh, that's right. That's what like I'm doing. Fetty Wap and Post Malone. Yeah. And uh, what Kanye said? Did you know the song? No, he yeah, he likes my music. Oh, he, he did? Like, yeah. How'd that feel? It was great. I was like smiling the whole time. And he smiled too. He was smiling the whole did, time. Did he like, ask I, mean, I feel like he was like, as excited as did I was. Did he ask you to help him uh, on his album? Because you know, he likes bringing other producers. So- oh. <laughs> There's conversation. Any other celebs that have. Uh, I mean, I'm Kylie's surprised Drake party. hasn't jumped on. White Iverson. Like, I could have seen him. I could have seen Drake have Drake an interest don't need it right now. Drake's kind of scotching right now. I mean, does he ever need it? Drake does it just I mean, to every now and then, every now and then, that's his double dutch back into the game. Yo, like he, he should. Just, Drake uh, should have done Black Stockton. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Black Bird. It doesn't work as well. That has a different, it has a different meaning. <laughs> and Stockton was with Malone. Three, you know what I'm saying? Is there a good yeah. white 76er that he could go with? No. <laughs> there aren't many good 76ers, period. I'm sorry. What about you? Who do you want to work with that you haven't yet? I haven't met. I, I, I mean, I, I met Fetty. Me and Fetty are cool, but I really want to do a song with Fetty and and Kanye. Um, <laughs> yeah, hope, hope, hope. Um, Tim McGraw. Tim McGraw's marriage. I mean, that was an unexpected response, but I respect it. Oh, I think yeah. I read somewhere you said like in, in forty years you want to be a country singer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I want, I want to, I just, I just make music that I like. So I have country songs written that I just haven't like put out or whatever. But really? I, you know, let me ask you this: in your opinion, what is the big difference um, when you write a? I, I don't even know because you're not. Are you a rap? You're not a rapper. No, no that's no. not. How, you're a singer. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank like you. um, you. You're writing the, you know, and we live in this era where the hip hop songs are R and B songs, and the R and B songs are hip hop songs. Like it's very blurred, right? right? Ex- can you articulate um, the difference to you in your mind between the music you're making now versus making a country song? How would it be different? Right. Well, I mean, it's the same. It's the same process, really. And said, you know, I always gotta have something to drink, <laughs> and then you know, it's either you pick up a guitar. Or you get in a booth or whatever, you know. Um, why do you think you need the drink? Why do you, why do you think you like to have know. a drink? I feel like you know I'm really shy. I can tell you're you seem like yeah, a shy. Yeah, dude. I'm really shy. So it just shy, loosens so, you up. Yeah, no, it just makes me more comfortable. You know what I mean? So, um, what's your I real think, what's your real name? Post Austin. Alone? Austin Post. Honestly, you could have went with that too. I love when people have well, names. He couldn't, that could do, be their uh, name. he couldn't do Austin Malone because that's too close to the other pop kid, Austin Mahoney or whatever his name <laughs> is. Uh, no, but I mean Austin Post isn't a terrible name. Austin yeah. Post is kind of tight. Yeah, Austin Post kind of. So tight. where's the Malone from? I just made it up. Really? Because yeah, it sounded like a cowboy yeah. a little bit, right? Yeah, like it sounded like it's a little like, like you, you know, might have a gun on your head. Yeah, but I don't. know. <laughs> but we don't. <laughs> 
Yo, um, it was great to talk to you, man. Yeah, Good luck with yeah. everything. I'm uh, excited to hear the music. I'm glad to hear that you play instruments too and do the production and everything yourself. So that that makes us even more excited and more of a, of an acceptable, interesting, compelling thing for me. Well, thank y'all so much. And lastly, me. and most importantly, what's your favorite Tim McGraw song? Indian Outlaw. Oh, it's a mage. That is mage. Yeah. Indian Outlaw is mage. I have it on 45. Just saying. <laughs> He's like my favorite. You know, you know, Tim McGraw is an outspoken Democrat, too. Which is Super outspoken. Which is one of the best things about Tim McGraw. Sorry, Jen Boogie. But yes, it's true. <laughs> his wife is a good thing. And his wife is majeure also. That's true. <laughs> and he might slap you if you try to get too close to him in his concert. That's which right. is, I, And his hats are great. Yeah, he, to a chick. He she reached up, she was like, ah, she grabbed his balls. He was like, get the fuck off yeah. me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, when you go for the go now. Yo, you can't you do that. No, you can't do you that. You notice nobody had a problem with it either. No, no one was even mad. They were like, do not try to grab a man's go when he's on stage. <laughs> you you might get slapped. Damn, but what Yo, about Post Afro Malone. Man? What'd you say? She said, what about Afro Man? Please don't bring up Afro Man again. 